Look, I am not an expert when it comes to audio equipment. I am a musician though, so I do have a very good ear and I can definitely tell the difference. <laughs> but until now, I was playing my games with the built-in audio of my LG C1 and I was happy with it. I didn't know that I was missing anything until I tried an AV receiver from 1999. Okay, it's a very old AV receiver that has optical uh, input and four speakers, four regular speakers. The two speakers that come with this Pioneer Kuro Plasma TV plus uh, two uh, bigger speakers that you can get for very cheap on the used market, okay? I'm gonna share with you a YouTube video of someone who got these speakers the same for $35, okay? <laughs> $35 and you can get an AV receiver I was searching on eBay for like a hundred dollars again all the AV receiver that has the same features that the one I have and it's not necessarily I recommend you to get a very old AV receiver just get the best you can so my point is for about two to three hundred dollars you can get an audio equipment for gaming that is going to absolutely blow you away in comparison with the built-in audio of any of these TVs okay because we don't have TVs like this anymore this is a Pioneer Kuro Plasma TV that comes with two speakers that are the size of the of a sound bar it's just insane we don't have that kind of audio on TVs anymore so I highly recommend you to just go on the used market and get something um, get something good let me show you here, for example, this deal, and this is not like the best deal or anything, but just for you to have an idea of what you can expect. Look at this, $280 for an AV receiver, very similar to mine, a Blu-ray, a DVD, and four speakers. These are better than mine. Look at the size of these things, two gigantic speakers and two that are the size of the ones that I have. This is awesome. I would definitely recommend you to get something like this or even cheaper if you can get it in your local uh, market so you can just go and pick it up and try it out so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to also share with you a video this is a video that I use to download the programs you need for Windows 11 to get the surround system working the drivers and the programs that you need so I'm going to have a link in the description of this video. This is a YouTube channel called Sir Quacks A Lot The First. Okay. So yeah, he did a great video explaining how to use these programs, how to install the drivers. Everything is on this video and I highly recommend you to check it out so you don't have to pay money to Windows 11 to Microsoft because Microsoft wants you to pay for Dolby and for DTS and it's like why <laughs> why do I have to pay to use the hardware that I already own like that doesn't make any sense that's one of those things like oh if you're the kind of person that spends two thousand dollars in audio you're not going to mind you know five ten twenty dollars something like that that kind of Apple mentality. Why? No, I'm not gonna pay you <laughs> anything for an audio to make for a software to make the audio that I just purchased work. It doesn't make any sense. So get these programs, and this is not piracy necessarily. These are just programs and drivers that you need to get this surround system uh, working. So get, watch this video, download, and follow the the instructions here. Very good video. So you get this working. So what I did is I got this Dolby Home Theater uh, program working. So I have the optical input to the AV receiver and I am getting Dolby and it works awesomely. It works. You see here Dolby Home Theater 4 is working and it is awesome because I see the audio on the games 
coming from you know, the, the right, the left, and from my back. Different audio sources. It's not like all the speakers are doing the same. They are all giving you different sounds and it is amazing. It just sounds incredible. Highly recommend you that. So what you're going to download looks like this. Looks like this. A APO driver 2.10.6 Dolby APO driver. So you just extract these two files and you install the drivers. Just follow the, the video. I'm not gonna do a video that's exactly the same because it's already done. Just watch that video that I'm gonna share with you and get the, get the drivers and get the programs you need uh, from that video. He, he, he has a link and that's how you get it working. And it is absolutely amazing. Look at this thing. Let's listen to this. I'm like blown away with this audio system. Absolutely love it. Look at this thing. I feel different, different audios coming from the from the from the speakers. Wow. See? So right here. It changes. <laughs> It's amazing. Man. Look at that. Absolutely amazing, man. I cannot recommend it enough. There's no built-in speakers on any of these TVs that is gonna give you anything even close to that. So it depends where you live, the deals that you can get, but search for it. That's that's my that's my recommendation. Search for an AV receiver. You know, four or even more speakers <laughs> get an even better uh, sound setup if you want to go crazy then just go crazy spend you know two thousand dollars something like that the thing is the audio equipment costs a lot of money can it can cost a lot of money but you can also get something that's very cheap and it's still gonna be awesome i mean yeah, maybe if I get one of, if I try one of those super expensive audio system, I'm gonna tell you the same. I'm gonna tell you, oh no, man, you need to get this. <laughs> but I'm very happy with this uh, audio system that I got, and it was free basically. It was included uh, with this Pioneer Kuro Plasma TV. I just bought the TV for three hundred dollars, and they they were going to trash this audio system basically. The AV receiver, they were gonna throw that away. So I just got it included with this plasma and it is also very um impressive <laughs> this um av receiver from 1999 is still working perfectly fine it is so solid this they used to make this electronic components so much stronger and durable that's just incredible man 1999 so this is 24 years old <laughs> and it is also incredible that it is working with my pc because it has that optical uh, port so that optical port i mean it's it lasts um for so many years and it's awesome so yeah definitely consider it so let me know if you have any questions. Again, I'm not an expert, so I'm not gonna be able to tell you anything, any details, but I'm sure there's a lot of people who are watching these videos that they know. Actually, I got a lot of great feedback from my previous video, but I'm still learning. And a lot of, a lot of you have very nice audio setup already, but maybe there's a lot of people that just purchased the TV and because a lot, a lot of people like me i was like i only care about the video for audio i'm just gonna use headphones or something you know so maybe this this video can help those people say hey you know what if i don't have to spend a lot of money let me give it a try maybe you can go to a used market and spend 100 or 150 dollars and get something awesome that's gonna be better than what you currently have and you're gonna be like oh, okay well 
Now let's, let's see what I can do to improve it even more. Because myself, what I'm thinking right now is, okay, my AV receiver actually can do 5.1 audio. So I can add a center channel, I can add a center speaker, I can add a subwoofer, I can add two more front speakers, and I might do that. I might just go to the used market and try to find some cheap speakers to add and maybe get a, a, a nice uh, subwoofer. And I might do that, <laughs> definitely. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. So let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions.